Tonight, the violent Russian attacks on Ukraine are hitting close to home. Today, we learned a local man has been killed amid the fighting. Jim Hill, who we told you about Tuesday, was killed in Ukraine about 90 miles northeast of Kyiv. Hill traveled there in December for life-extending MS treatment for his partner and Ukraine citizen Irina. Hill's family friend, Karen Mosley, told us the U.S. Embassy told her that Hill was found by Ukraine police dead in the street. According to a Facebook post from his sister, quote, he was in a bread line when gunned down by Russian snipers, end quote. Mosley tells us that Hill was a great friend who loved traveling, his girlfriend, and above all else, fly fishing. He also wanted to save the world. And he helped anybody that passed his, crossed his path that he could, to fault, to fault. Hill had been posting updates on Facebook up until two days ago when his last post talked about, uh, quote, intense bombing, end quote, and the limited food and the room being cold. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze reports now on the latest situation there in Ukraine, including indications that Russia's ground assault is stalling while the air attacks against civilian targets escalate. President Biden is now calling President Vladimir Putin's actions inhumane and calling him a, quote, war criminal. Russia's advance on Ukraine is meeting fierce resistance from determined Ukrainian forces. The UK Defense Ministry saying today it thinks the Russian invasion of Ukraine has largely stalled on all fronts. President Putin's invasion of Ukraine is not going to plan. The Ukrainian people haven't welcomed the Russian military. They haven't submitted. On the contrary, they're fighting with extraordinary courage. Still, Russia is unrelenting in its airstrikes, shelling civilian targets. These attacks that we've seen most recently are appear to be focused uh, uh, directly on, on civilians. Ukrainian President Zelensky today visiting his citizens at a hospital in Kyiv who've been injured by Russian attacks. And the search for survivors is now underway at this theater in Mariupol that served as a mass shelter. The building was struck despite satellite images showing the words children in Russian visible from the air. A day after calling Vladimir Putin a war criminal for the first time, President Biden with more harsh words for the Russian leader. Putin's brutality and what he's doing and his troops are doing in Ukraine is just inhumane. Here in D.C., the House overwhelmingly passed legislation to revoke the status of both Russia and Belarus as normal trading partners. That would open the door to more tariffs on goods from those countries. The bill will now head to the Senate. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, Washington.